What's up, guys? Oh, look at that. That cat is so cute. I just uh, went shopping here at that PetSmart in Stockyards Village. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of people out here today, no doubt about it. Which is understandable because it's almost Christmas and people want to get their shopping done. I used to come here all the a lot, um, you know, back in earlier this year. And I do want to take the elevator, but I think I'm going to wait for the next one. I'll let these folks go up first. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. This, this, this plaza is crowded. So many people here. I actually uh, rode in this elevator with my mom on September 3rd. 2022 but it wasn't very pleasant because it was hot the elevator here had no air conditioning I mean I knew this was going to be the case I knew that there was going to be no air conditioning but of course you know um yeah that's what it is like I don't know why the elevator doesn't have air conditioning so yeah don't use the elevator in the summer there's no air conditioning it's uncomfortable and of course, I'm gonna have to let this lady go first. You know what? If somebody wants to take the elevator within my neck, with within my next turn, then I'm just gonna take the stairs because this place is busy. People are, are always gonna be taking the elevator all the time. We don't. Um, I can't. I don't. I can't stand here all day. All right, let's try again. There's another elevator on like the other side of this plaza. Like it's it's just east of here. Like I used to come to this plaza all the time, Stockyards Village, but uh, I mostly went to the eastern part of this this um, this plaza only. But, so yeah, I don't, uh, and now I come here less often, but, yeah, I know I've, I've been in the other elevator. In fact, I even made a video called Exploring Stockyards Village on, in February of 2022, and I was riding the elevator on the other side. Right. Dang it. Now this lady wants to take the elevator too. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to take the stairs. Actually, you know what? You know what? I won't even bother. I'm just going to go for a walk along the ground floor. I've already wasted three and a half minutes trying to get a solo elevator ride, but people always want to take the elevator. There's, there's like no chance. I mean, it's... I find that waiting for, for a solo op for an opportunity for me to ride the elevator solo is like waiting for the sky to fall down. Okay, not literally, but you know, it's, there's always gonna be somebody coming down. I've actually, I actually have filmed in an elevator with somebody in there before. Like for example, at, at Pickering Town Center, you know, I was riding in that, um, in the elevator going down to the food market and you know, somebody just ran and joined the elevator with me or or, or uh, at Wilson subway station. You know, somebody like ran to push the button and join me. But uh, I mean, look, let's face it. Everybody has every right to be in that, that elevator as I do. So that's uh, not much of my concern, but it doesn't really make it less annoying. Not when I'm filming, you know. This, um, okay, this, this place has two, three parkades. There's A, B, and C. I think right now I'm in the C parkade. Got a shoe company. And then there's a Rogers and Fidel store over there. I find that uh, this area actually copies. It's, it's replicating with uh, the North Queen area. 
like if you, like just beside Sherway Gardens Mall, like there's a Best Buy, a Walmart, a Winners, and and Home Depot there. There's there's a Home Depot just over there. You can you can see the orange part, the orange roof, and then there's a Best Buy there as well. Well, actually, that Best Buy here in Stockyards used to be Future Shop. You see, look, there's Home Depot just over there. Oh crap, I dropped my stuff. Here, let me let me pick this up. Oh actually, no I'm not. I'm I'm actually in Parkade A. No, that no, I'm still in Parkade C, but it says A right here. No, I oh you know what? I think A is uh where is like the the east the east side, you know, just beside Weston Road. I think that's where Park A Day is, where I used to go to all the time. And you know something else? So yeah, getting back to what I was saying, it does replicate. I feel like all of, almost all of the stores that you see in the North Queen area is here, except in Stockyards Village, it's all combined in like one building. It's kind of like an, an outdoor shopping mall, to put it this way. But I think it's more convenient because I like to do my shop. I prefer to do my shopping here than in the Sherway area because it's easier to get to by TTC. You see, if you go to um, that, uh, if you go to that area where where Sherway is, it's it's not as easy to get to, and also it's a lot of walking. Well, mind you, if you go there, you'd get more exercise, wouldn't you? But. But, but you get my point, right? If you kind of need a car to get around, like everything is so spread out in that area, but here it's all combined. So, yeah, I, I like Stockyards Village, it's so convenient to get to. And you know something else? It actually gives you the vibe of Florida. Like, I can picture there being places in Florida like this. Like, you know, like, you know, an outdoor shopping mall like this one. I'm sure they have lots of those in Florida. Like, that's how I can picture it. So whenever I'm here at Stockyards Village, it, it makes me feel like I'm in Florida. Like I'm, except the only thing is though, the weather. Although when I came here on September 3rd, it felt exactly like Florida, but now not anymore. It's December, it's Canada, it's cold. Okay, so I think this is Parkade A, where the bulk barn and the Dollarama is. So I was probably in like Parkade B. Oh wait, no, I think Parkade is like what they call um, this, uh, this parking, like, where the parking lot is those three level parking lot actually four level including the roof i think that's what a parkade is but yeah i don't know if i'll, I'll be i you know i i'm pretty sure i can cover pretty much all of the areas here in this village like, I'm actually, I'm not replicating my video from last February, but, uh, oh, look at that, Go Transit. A new transit hub. Really, Go, Go Transit? Like, where's the Go Station gonna be? Well, I know the Go Train Kitchener line runs uh, just a little bit east of here. You can sort of, you can actually see it from Kiel and St. Clair. So this, uh, this right here, okay, so that's Park 8B. So this actually takes you to Guns Loop. That's where the streetcar branch is. Like that's where, you know, the streetcar and bus loop are. They call it Guns Loop, because it's on Guns Road. Now I rolled the streetcar from here, well, I rolled the streetcar to here from St. Clair West, 
and then I went to Harvey's to get a to uh, have some lunch but um, when I was on the 512 streetcar coming here I saw Santa and the Grinch waving to everybody and you can actually see it like you can see when I zoomed in to show off Santa and the Grinch he actually waved to the camera he waved directly to the camera that's because I waved to them first So that was pretty neat. Okay, I, to, to make sure I'm not going around in circles, I'll have to probably go through here, just beside the Rogers store. Marble, Marble Slab Creamery. You know, I have heard of it before. I'll have to go there one day. I do like ice cream, but uh, I mostly look out for Baskin Robbins and I'm not going to be ordering ice cream anytime soon because, you know, because of the season. But I will have to go there one day and this uh, pl village actually continues just a little bit back. I don't know why, but one thing I don't like about this place is it it, it tends to smell like sewage. I, I, I don't mean to get off, give off a spoiler alert, but... Uh, I mean, okay, sometimes, if not all the time, it smells like sewage. I don't know why that is, to be honest. But I still like this place. I think the reason why this now... By the way, this uh, whole area, this plaza was built in 2014. So, yeah, 2014, everything was built. This whole place was built. So it's, it's fairly new, I would say. Now, the reason why they call it a village, Stockyards Village, is because it kind of looks like a village. You got all kinds of shops along the side you, like you know it it just looks like a, a village entirely you know i guess i pretty much covered everything probably except the, the the top the upper level so that's what i'm gonna do yeah today i've been i've really been getting getting out today doing a little bit more Christmas shopping. Okay, I haven't been to this part of this plaza before. And here you've got uh, Guns Road and Weston Road. This is the directory map just over there. So, yeah, this is a pretty good uh, shopping hub for in York region. I would say this place is on the corner of Keel, Weston, and St. Clair, because, um, as you know, just when you get to St. Clair, Keel breaks off and, and then turns into Weston. So I guess, you know, in that case, you... Um, I just I just call it three intersections, okay? Keel, West, and St. Clair, that's where this place is. Anyways, let's take the stairs. <sighs> Feels so warm in here. Oh yeah, and we were we even took the stairs. Like my, I rode the elevator with my mom when I came here last time, and she didn't like the elevator because it was hot. I didn't like it either, and we took the stairs and. Apparently the stairs were even worse than the elevator because it was so damn hot. Okay, 
Almost there. And here's the roof. Wow, look at that puddle here. Oh boy, this door is hard to open, but I don't want to I don't want to step in the puddle. Ugh. Why do those why do those doors have to be so hard to open? Come on, guys, you got to make your doors easier. It's not worth using all your strength just to heave a door open. And like I said before, I don't have a problem complaining. Because obviously I'm Mr. Complains a lot. Okay, mate. Okay, not literally, but still. Mm. You got a home sense and a winner's here. I feel like those stores are similar. Because they pretty much sell the same things. Same type of stuff. I don't know if I've ever been to... Um, if I've ever been there before to uh, Home Sense. Hmm, I'm kind of tempted to film an elevator ride. Eh, go for it. Okay, ground floor. Finally, I get to ride in the elevator here by myself. I don't know what that was all about in the first place. This is a Delta elevator. Okay. Should we take it back up? Nah. Yeah, I mean, yes, we should take it back up. Since nobody's, nobody wants to join me. I mean, these folks want to take the elevator, but they're gonna to have to wait for the next one. And there's a mirror right here. And as you can see, I'm wearing my favorite toque, my favorite radio station. So yeah, the, the fact that the elevator is right is adjacent to the stairs, it correlates with the opposite side. And here I am on the upper level. In I'm into Parkade C now. And I can see the other side of the village in the distance. So, yeah, this place is like bigger than you think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, look, look, the CN Tower. Look, I, so you, got, you got the CN Tower in the distance. Let's go. You know, in order to zoom in, I have to take my gloves off because, you know, the zooming, you gotta use, I gotta use two fingers to zoom in and it's not gonna work with gloves on. Okay, I can't, I don't know how to get to the other side of the, of this place from. Yeah, so I guess I have to go downstairs. Is this an emergency exit or what? No, it's not, so. It's just a crappy old stairwell made of stone. So narrow. Too far gone. That graffiti, very creative. I feel like they should renovate this stairwell. Eh, maybe not. That might, that might be a little bit too much, but you know. Okay, let's go.
I think my goal is to do a full tour of Stockyards Village. And then I'll probably do a walk of video. And I, I ended up here before, and now I'm back to where I was. So yeah, long time no see. Just in the same place where I was before. And nothing can stop me from recording here because you know why? This place is outside, so I, I don't think any security officer is going to walk up to me and confront me for filming. I don't think that's going to happen. Not here, not in, a, in an outdoor shopping area. And here we are. So now we're in, we're on uh, the east, the very the east side of of this place, east side of Stockyards Village, where Bulk Barn is. Um, and Dollarama. I, I uh, rode the elevator in my other video. I'll have to. I'm going to take the, the escalator this time to get up to the second the second floor. It's getting pretty late. It's like it's like almost four o'clock or something. So there's Michael's and yeah, I haven't walked all the way over there, so I'll have to do it in this video. In fact, you've seen places like this in uh, movies before like for example when you watch uh, Despicable Me 2 they I've seen a place like this before where an outdoor shopping mall it kind of reminds me of that too as well so I think I have pretty much covered it all and uh, you can see in the distance winners home sense where that's just where I was before so you know what I think this is gonna gonna conclude today's video so yeah guys if you if you know I'm gonna take the stairs back down but anyways no I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over there and I'll probably film a walk-in video along St. Clair, but uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like on and subscribe. It'll Your support is much appreciated. So, yeah. Have a good day, everyone.